Hello children, how are you all? I hope you are all fine and safe. This is Archana, your English teacher. In this video, I am going to teach you Unit 4, Nature, Creator and Destroyer. Children, if we look at the title carefully, we can understand that nature creates innumerable things for us. And without nature, we are nothing. But if we destroy nature, if we are irresponsible to protect nature and its resources, it destroys us completely and immensely. In various ways like earthquakes, landslides, tsunamis, etc. And the classic example to say that the nature destroys is the current situation of COVID-19 which destroyed many lives. So we must try to protect the nature and its resources, safeguarding the nature for us and for our future generations must be our primary duty. So now let's look into the lesson. Children, now let us discuss section one of unit four and the title is something wonderful happens when you plant a seed look at the title think deeply about this title how beautiful and wonderful the title is isn't that children yes children this particular lesson is in the form of an interview it is presented by mia mcdonald look at the picture she is mia mcdonald she is a policy analyst and writer on the environment, development, gender and population based in New York. And she is also a senior fellow of the World Watch Institute. This interview is between Ciara Magazine and a famous Kenyan social, environmental and political activist Wangari Mathai. Now let us discuss a few details about the famous activist Wangari Mathai. She was born in the year 1940 on April 1st. She was a social, environmental and political activist. She was the first African woman to win the Nobel Prize. And in the year 1977, she founded Green Belt Movement. What was this Green Belt Movement? The Green Belt Movement was an environmental, non-governmental organization that focused on three issues. Planting of trees, environmental conservation and the rights of women in the society. And do you know children what did she do? She arranged many seminars and many presentations to describe the work of Green Belt Movement. She organized a network of rural women into Green Belt Movement, which planted 30 million trees. Can you imagine 30 million trees? This is absolutely an unbelievable thing, isn't it children? And do you know in the year 1980 something happened to her? In the year 1980, the Kenyan government came down against Green Belt Movement. She was forced by the government to vacate her office and the Green Belt Movement was moved into her house. And the government tried a lot and tried in many ways to shut it down. But she stood very strongly and fought back. And she was awarded the Right Livelihood Award for converting the Kenyan ecological debate into mass action for reforestation. Mathai was an elected member of parliament and served as Assistant Minister for Environment and Natural Resources. And she was also an honorary councillor of the World Future Council. And her journey was not an easy one. Her journey had many ups and downs. Mathai was beaten. She was jailed 
for her protest against the president of Kenya, Mr. Daniel Arab Moy. Look at the picture. He is Mr. Daniel Arab Moy. And that did not stop her. Nothing stopped her. She was very courageous. Though she faced a lot of criticism in the society, though many people criticized her, though she was harassed by many people, she never ever gave up. She never ever stopped believing in herself. That was her uniqueness. That was the bravery of Bangari Mathai. She contested in elections to solve the issues of the society. And in the year 2002, she was elected to parliament with an overwhelming 98% of the vote. And that was a big success to her. And that was a great tragedy to the people who criticized her. And that was a big victory to her. And after the victory, she was subsequently appointed by the president as assistant minister for environment, natural resources and wildlife in Kenya's ninth parliament. And children, we know that hard work never goes in vain. She faced a lot of hurdles, criticism and negativity in the society. She was harassed physically and mentally just for raising her voice for the environment and for the human rights. And eventually, in the year 2004, the Norwegian Nobel Committee had decided to award the Nobel Peace Prize to Wangari Mathai for her contribution to sustainable development, democracy and peace. Nobel Peace Prize Laureate for 2004, Wangari Muta Matai, to come forward to receive the gold medal and the diploma. some traditional applause in the audience there. A very happy and proud woman today. This lesson is an interview. Now here is the interview of Vangari Mathai with Ciara magazine. Let's look at a few questions posed by the magazine and also look at the responses of Vangari Mathai. And here is the first question. Why did you focus your initial efforts on trees? And she answered like this. She said that when she was an officer, in the National Council of Women, she got an opportunity to talk to rural women and got a chance to listen to their problems. She conveyed that after listening to them, she had understood that the issues they were facing were three, insufficient energy, lack of drinking water and malnutrition. She also conveyed that she slowly and gradually had understood the linkage between environmental degradation and the needs of communities. He said that the solution for all these problems or for all these issues was to plant trees. Children, now let us look at the second question. How did tree planting lead to pro-democracy action? This was the question. And her response to this question was quite interesting. She said that when she started inquiring people about the root causes of 
certain issues in the society everybody had blamed the government so she had started a movement that was not only about taking action to protect the environment but also about citizens responsibility to demand a better government she even added that the government had not linked about the green belt movement and it became a big target not because of planting trees but for awakening the people to stand up for their rights this was the answer given by vangari mathari now let us look at the question number 3 the nobel committee gave you the peace prize for your contribution to sustainable development democracy and peace have you always seen the connections to respond to this question she added that a clean and healthy government is a right of every citizen and a democratic government must acknowledge and respect these rights she also said that people must be responsible to have a clean and good environment if people struggle over resources they are going to have conflicts but not peace and now let us go to the next question for decades you were a leading member of the opposition but now you are a deputy government minister what has that been like so in order to respond to this particular question she said that sometimes things in government move very slowly and in order to overcome such things people must try to enter politics and see how they can help and she also added that she was one of very few women to have had such an opportunity to enter politics and here is the next question let me read out for you you have seen tough times over the years but you never gave up how did you keep going and this was the question posed by the magazine and in order to respond to this particular question she said that as long as there was a way to break the cycle of poverty and disempowerment she would find her energy to continue and this particular answer shows her clarity and commitment towards her work and goals isn't it children and now let us see the next question what does the nobel peace prize mean to you so in order to answer this question she said that the nobel peace prize was a crown to her was a perfect crown to her let us see what did she say she said that it was a great and wonderful recognition and she also said that it was very shocking and unbelievable thing for her she also conveyed that the nobel peace prize was like a perfect crown for her long battle or the struggle children here is the next question what message does the prize send this was the question posed by the magazine and she replied saying that the nobel peace prize was a recognition for all the hard work done at grassroots levels she said that the nobel peace prize had sent a lot of messages to her to all the people of africa to all the women of africa and to the women of the world pro democracy and advocates for peace she also added that the nobel peace prize had recognized all their hard work in a collective way even though it came to her that was the answer children now here is the last question of the interview that was posted by the magazine was what is next for you so in order to answer this question she said that she still had a lot of work to do the little things what she had done along with her group brought a great positive change and she also said that if one could multiply this positive change several times one could improve the world 
look at the positivity how positive minded she was though she faced a lot of criticism and harassment and do you know children even today her group or her team organize a lot of programs through the vangari mathai foundation to make a difference in the society the vangari mathai foundation was established on march 6 2015 to initiate and support projects that further the legacy the value and the vision and the commitment of vangari mathai and also about her understanding of interconnectedness of the environment democracy and peace so her legacy continues and it will continue and children that was about her journey and about her inspiring story unfortunately this brave hard working self made committed and dedicated woman passed away in the year 2011 children you know that we live once we die once but what we do between our birth and death matters a lot we must live in such a way so that people discuss us or remember us in a positive way because life is only once and death is inevitable so it is in our hands that what kind of life we lead to motivate or to inspire others now let us discuss the value that we learn from the story of vangari mathai of course we learn a lot of qualities from her like being courageous working hard believing in yourself never give up and self respect but here is the main value that we learn from her story is your hard work will never go in vain your hard work will get a proper recognition and let us look at the value hard work does not go unnoticed and some day the rewards will follow so this is the value that we learn from the life of the famous activist vangari mathai so children that was about the famous vangari mathai i hope you understood the lesson very well i want you people to go through the lesson once again for your better understanding take care goodbye